Hey, I'm Andrew Connell. This video is an overview of one of the chapters in my course, Mastering the SharePoint Framework, that's available for uh, purchase on my site, Voitanos.io. This overview video is going to give you an idea of everything that the chapter uh, covers. You can learn more by checking out the description uh, in the notes below the video. Um, if you got any questions about this chapter or about the course in general, just make sure you drop a comment uh, below in, in the uh, below the video and I'll be sure to get back to you. So with that, let me get out of the way. Enjoy the overview to this chapter. Once a SharePoint framework solution has been deployed into production, there will likely come a time when you need to upgrade and add new features or address issues with the existing version. But versioning is not just about the code that you write. You should also be familiar with upgrading and managing your development environment. Specifically, in the case of the SharePoint framework, you need to understand how to manage and upgrade the versions of SPFX and the related NPM packages. In this chapter, you will learn how to properly upgrade and version your custom solutions, as well as manage the related NPM packages. I'm going to start with an overview of semantic versioning. It's a schema for a certain kind of versioning style that you can adopt and that SharePoint adopts for the SharePoint framework, as many other projects do as well. We'll also look at how versioning comes into play with NPM and how SharePoint, the product or the server, actually takes into account different version numbers. Then we're going to look at NPM package versions and how we can manage and manipulate those. And then we'll look at versioning the project or the code associated with the things that we're building related to the SharePoint framework. Before we begin, I want to address a unique characteristic about this chapter. When it comes to updating code in your project, some aspects are global to all projects like version numbers and versioning packages. However, some upgrade tasks are unique based on what your project is doing, such as the case when provisioning SharePoint assets. Instead of making this chapter a central place for all upgrade tasks, covering each upgrade task, this chapter will focus on the most wide-ranging aspects of upgrades. Chapters that cover topics with specific upgrade attention will have upgrade details within those chapters. Refer to the notes under the lessons in this chapter for references to relevant chapters and lessons when it comes to upgrade tasks. In addition, I'll update this first overview lessons notes in this chapter to contain a roll-up of all these different references. Okay, now let's get on with the chapter. 